Hello Capricorns. I initially was not going to do a dark love reading this month because I'm just not feeling up to it. But I got this new deck and created new names for the cards and new meanings for them. And I thought, you know what, maybe I can do just a three card, nothing like my previous dark love readings, just do a three card draw as a dark love reading for August. So here we go. This is you. This is the other person. And this is something that you share in common. So you are Miss Splendiferous Flying Fish. So let me see. I have my notes here because I don't have my meanings memorized. So Miss Splendiferous Flying Fish, she needs to be complimented continuously or her displays will get more outrageous. Yep, so there's whether this person is a narcissist Maybe, maybe not, but there's a bit of a trend there in that this person has to get your attention and will do more and more to get your attention. Or this is you, so you have a drive to get other people's attention, particularly if you're attracted to them, um, over and over again. If, if a little bit doesn't do it, then it's not that you back off. If a little bit doesn't do it, then you do more, and then you do more, so you become more outrageous in order to get compliments. So it's not freakish behavior that won't get you compliments. It's an attempt to get compliments. I mean, look at her. Look at her, yeah. Okay, so the other person is um, action figure Ashley. So that's your other person. And what's the meanings that I have for action figure Ashley? She's always leaping into action. There's nothing she can't do, and blocking others is a favorite pastime. So she likes to jump in and prevent other people from getting involved. So she's very good at blocking other people, whether you or other people who would interfere in your relationship. But this is, I mean, she's an action figure, so she's constantly leaping into action, always on the move. Is somebody who probably doesn't like things to be settled. Yeah, because then the action would stop, right? And you don't want the action to stop. This person feeds on compliments. You feed on compliments. This person feeds on action, excitement, activity. They can't not have it. Just like this is accusing you of very much needing compliments and attention. All right. So then we have the Morrigan's Apprentice. This is something that you both share in common. So it's a trait that you share in common. Um, one more page. She walks softly and carries a big scythe, which is true in this image, right? She's carrying a very big scythe there. She's capable of ending things, but is indecisive. Okay, so that's something that both of you share. So there you go. Morgan's apprentice. Somebody who has the power, but doesn't have the resolve or is afraid to use the power because it's negative, right? It's putting an end to things and knowing that that will upset others. But that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to do a lot of, um, because I need to get through all of these, I'm not going to do a lot of talking about any individual card. That's what I've got for you Capricorns. Sorry I couldn't do more. Um, I will be back when I'm able. Take care. Bye-bye.